Now it's been seven months since your uh, most recent album, uh, Great Britain, has has been released. What, uh, looking back on that now, uh, is that still a strong representation uh, as as when you uh, first released it and when you were writing it? I think I think it, it that record will stand like the test of time. You know that record will always I, be a milestone in so. Gallo's career because it was that was a jump for us. You know we went from being a band that just plays really spazzy punk rock music to a band that focused heavily on songwriting and structure of the music. I don't know if that record means as much to us now as it did when we were writing it because obviously the world's changed. We've changed a lot as people, but I'm. I'm really proud of that record, and I will always be proud of that record. For me, that record means means the world to me. I mean, that record to me means more than Orchestra of Wolves does. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like I don't know if I feel the way I do now, playing those songs as I did when I was writing those songs. You know, like it's it's funny how much can happen to you in one week's time. That oh, definitely writing those songs then. A week later, I could have written something else that would mean the world to me then. Just, just see where I'm coming from. So it's <laughs> difficult. I, I love the record. I think it's a great record. I think we made a really, really, really classic record in a time where music's kind of lost its way. But I guess in the future, we'll see how well that record holds up. You know, there's, there's no point worrying about where it's going to go oh, and exactly. how other people are going to perceive it. I'm happy with it. If people like it, they like it. If people don't like it, I don't really care. Now a lot of the messages, a lot of the the strong point on uh, Great Britain itself is is uh, the message that uh, basically how fucked up Britain is, and, and not just Britain, yeah. but uh, sort of uh, globally we are uh, fucked up economically, politically, and socially. Um, have you seen since since the release of that album? Do you uh, have you seen it uh, further a downward spiral? To be honest, I really don't think that the the world is ever going to be the way it once was. You know, like, since we released the record, I think everything's just got worse. The global economic status hasn't got any better. Mm -hmm. (laughs) The recession hasn't got any better. If anything, it is just getting worse. There's only one way that the world can kind of salvage itself now. And that's if everyone just gives up and starts again. That's the only way. You know, like, all of the the people in power in the government, there's nothing that these people can do that's going to change what's going on in the world nowadays. They all need to realize that They've made it this way. They've yeah. made it this way for a reason. They need to accept that they were wrong, stand down, and let something fresh happen. They need someone new to start this to make it right. Now, do you think that's going to come in the form of a, a global people's revolution, or do you think uh, that the people or some of the people that we have in power uh, in various governments a- around the world um, are looking out in the best interest of, uh, of humanity? I don't know. I think they're looking in the best interest of their bank accounts, to be mm, honest. That unfortunately. That's the only thing that people give a fuck about today. Yeah. I think that the... I think this is going to come around. I don't know if it's going to come around with like you know a global uprising. The people are going to get together and the people are going to make it right. I just think everyone needs to realise that they've done bad. They've fucked up. And the sooner everyone realises how fucked up everything is and how bad they personally have made it, then we can start to move on and make it better. But for now, no one's going to get it. Especially you two, like you two and bands like that. Yeah. They haven't got a fucking clue what's going on. So oh. People should stop listening to them for a start. The, people uh, should start listening to new music. There you, well, new a lot music of, that's got something interesting to say, you know? Exactly. Like, a lot that's of, where this is going to come from. The bands who give a fuck. The kids that are growing up now, the kids that are writing the music, living in the times, living in the hard times, they're going to make the change. Bands like you two who are bragging about, you know, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that, I've done this, I've done that. All they're doing is making things worse for everyone else. All they're doing is showing people that, you know, oh, you're bad people, you're not caring about the environment, you're not doing this, that, and the other. If they all gave up their own private jets and toured together in a van like we're doing in the States, they'd make a difference, but they're not. No. I think it's really hypocritical of big bands to try to kick and, kick and fuss around about everything. Kids yeah. just need to realise that this revolution in inverted commas is going to come from young kids you've got something to say go out and say it a lot of times the bands uh the bigger bands like you two are 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 making all these messages but they're living in their own personal little bubble that's so so removed from yeah from the actual i think bono is the biggest hypocrite on the planet (laughs) fair enough i don't think there's too many people that would uh, disagree with you on that fact exactly so it's you know i think that this this change will come one day I just think that 99% of the people on the planet at the minute, they're going to be dead when it happens. We're not going to see it. Yeah. But it's going to happen. And it will happen with our kids' kids. When they grow up, one of them's going to realize, you know, this is fucked. We've got to do something about it. I just hope they're able to, the government in charge at the time, are able to, you know, 
take phase and actually move on and get it done rather than just sit around and talk about it and do something completely different again. And just continue wasting know. our money, right? Exactly. That's all they're doing. You know, no one, ca- no one cares about the world anymore. All people care about is how much money they've got in their bank account and how long it's going to last for. Uh, the capitalistic system at its best. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Now, uh, Gallows is definitely a product of its time. Um, and it's been stated before that you will continue to do this uh, for a few more albums or, or as long as you're relevant. Do you feel that, uh, I mean, right now it seems like you're in a giant upswing of, of relevancy. Uh, do, do you foresee uh, more than a few albums coming out? Uh, I mean, there's tons of stuff uh, politically and, and socially to deal with on future albums. W- where do you see the future of Gallows? I see the future of Gallows lasting as long as our bodies can take the pain we put them through every night on stage. I don't, I'm not going to turn around and say that Gallows are the next political band because, you know, we, we've got something to say, but we haven't got an answer. Mm-hmm. That's the difference of our band to all those big bands. All those big bands have got, they've got nothing to say, but they all claim they've got the answer. We're the opposite. We've got something to say, but we haven't got the answer. All we're able to do is point out what the problem is. I don't know how long my band's going to last, to be honest. Uh, we could last 10 more years. We could last 10 more weeks. All I know is that at the minute, things are really exciting for us. And while things are exciting for us, we're still going to be here. You know, we've been working on some new material. We've been playing. We've been practicing together. We've mm-hmm. just been having fun, like doing what you should do when you're in a band, you know, exactly. enjoying yourself. So for now, for the foreseeable future, I can't see us going anywhere, but you never know, do you? No. Nope. I mean, one day, I could just wake up and decide I don't want to do this anymore. Like you said earlier, it. A lot of stuff changes in a week, right? Exactly. What changes, what I feel today, I could feel completely different about tomorrow morning, which is, I don't know, I guess that's the glory of hindsight, isn't it? <laughs> that is, right? So, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a weird one, man. But for now, I don't want to go anywhere with my band. I just want to stay doing what I'm doing, carry on playing, just have fun with it. Well, I have to say, I know there's a lot of uh, lot of kids and a lot of, of listeners out there that uh, appreciate Gallows for, for what it is and, and for, uh, like you say, not giving, not saying, here's the answer, here's what you need to do, but uh, rallying and giving giving more of a, a perspective as to what is wrong. And, uh, well, to all of all of the listeners and all the kids out there, I just want to say thanks very much to everything. You know, like, if it wasn't for you kids enjoying what we do, we wouldn't be doing it. So Most. means the world to us that we've actually got people who care about our band just as much as we do. There you go. Excellent. Well, uh, I want to thank you very much for your time and uh, wish no you worries, all the best man. on your uh, your East Coast tour and your UK dates coming up at the end of November. Thank and you very much. I hope you have a good vacation and, uh, and tour in uh, Australia. Awesome. Thanks very much, man. Not a problem. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Cheers.